made it to Boise, Idaho. Very late at night. Look who even picked us up, boys. Ah! Yeah, made it. He's here. Made it. <laughs> Barely. Boise, Idaho. Yeah, no, nah, as you can see, there's a lot of bags coming out. This is, uh, this airport's humming. We're, we're in the big city right now. We spent a day recovering in Boise, and this of course meant a visit to Cabela's. It was awesome to see the full range of full body mounts on display. Gave you a little bit of an idea as to the diversity of the wildlife in America. The ones that interested us the most though were the bull elk. These were our number one target for the trip, and man there were some massive bulls on display in this shop. Sure got the blood pumping before you even hit the hills. So, we've just started uh, finally making it to the countryside. This was our truck. Four guys, Rocky Nun and Girl. All loaded up into the next wagon. So, we travelled three hours from Boise. And we're now on a ranch. The closer we got to the block we were going to hunt, the steeper the country started getting. Started looking pretty barren out there and not too far off a desert. One of the landowners very close to where we were staying had a small orchard and the pears were ripe and falling off the trees. He said there'd been a big mob of elk coming in regularly. They were coming in on last light in the evening and they were leaving before he got out of bed. He said he'd seen a couple of good 5x5 five five bulls amongst the herd, along with about 20 odd cows. We decided to head down on the first evening to check it out. We set up in the orchard, and we could see the animals starting to file down the hills. Unfortunately, the big bull hung back, and the cows and the spike were the first to enter the orchard. They trekked down across the flats, and across the creek. We made the call not to target one of these first two across for a meat animal, so we decided to pull out while they were crossing the creek, head back to the road, and have another crack at them another day. The bulls were just a little bit hesitant to come in. They were still up on the far side, about 400 metres from the creek, and it was going to get too dark. The next morning we went back for another look and they were already gone from the orchard and moving up the hills. It was great to see them bugling though.
on the way back to the cabin we were driving along and we seen this 6x6 and his herd of cows we stopped to take a bit of video and he was bugling as well it was good to watch him on the hill we could have sat there all day and watched them but uh, unfortunately across the creek where these guys were is out of bounds the block hasn't opened yet so we decided we're better off heading home having breakfast and then getting out the back country going for a few miles scouting the country and seeing what we can come across We decided that if the chance presented itself, we'd take a mule doe to get a bit of meat for Jessie's parents. The first one we walked into, she was onto it and bounced off. The second one hung around a little bit too long. One stick, bro. I know. But that's only, that's the bottom third, bro. Go about six inches above the stick. Same line as the stick. There's one little dark patch right in the middle of there, like a little bit of, of the crease. Take your time, you all the time in the world. Smashed her, bro. Smashed her. High, bro. High, high, high real high. high. Real high, but... Real high. Real high and back a little bit, but still lungs, bro. Still lungs. Yeah, it's She's right. going down, bro. Yeah. Smashed her, bro. <laughs> head down and join the boys and we'll blood trailer and see where we can pick her up. See you got blood here? Yeah. So yeah. She's, yeah. Yeah. Well, so high. Yeah. She down or not? She's she sounded like she went down with a bang. Yeah. Hold up bro. Oh no, it's just the one blind the car seat. There you go. See what blood there. Look at that one. Oh yeah. no. Yeah, she's starting to bleed out a bit. Yeah. 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 She went last time we saw her, she went down the flip and just over. Just found her pile up here. Give us a. Oh, yeah, I thought that was more up here. Yeah, no, I called it back. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely back, but definitely to get the back of the line. You're definitely oh, lying. She's quartering on too, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, it's very lucky. I'm very lucky on that. Oh, well, so yeah. it's made it about probably 40 metres. Not much blood to start with, but. Very dead rug, huh? Beating inside the cavity, but. Um, so sort, of, sort of tracked her, picked up a bit of blood towards the end. Here she is, piled up here. First 
donkey in America. Oh, Thanks, what, boys. what a way to what a way to start a trip. <laughs> what a way to what a way to start a trip. Look at the blood sprayed up. I know. It's right, there, that's right down there, eh? All the way down there. Rolled in. She must have rolled. Did she roll down or did she come down? Came pole? down here, bro. Piled up from here. She's come down with a bang. <clears throat> so we just got back to the bike. What's the date? Ninth. Ninth. So we'll do the general tag duties. Done. It's good enough. Beautiful. Right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> One first tag full. Dining like oh, kings tonight. Harry, I hope not Alaskan anymore. king crab. <laughs> Look at the state of them. Mm -hmm. That's really hot. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> that is a lot of meat. Fairly sizable pincers on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> state of that. Oh, it's a six six. It's a six six, bro. Jeez.
The hills are steeper than they appear on the camera. Just look at the elk breathing as they climb this hill. Uh, as you see on the footage, you just watch Jason's 15 year dream walk across the string. Just outside of range. It's sort of hard to express the disappointment, but and it's a different stag too, different bull. We haven't seen him, what well, we believe he's from down a bit further. We saw him across the river, but uh, we'll have to go back on the footage and check that. But Bigger than the 10. Bigger than the 10 we thought it was going to be. So yeah, Jace snuck up the top as you've seen there, bugled a few times and he uh, started coming in a few steps towards him and Jace thought she was really going to happen and then one of the cows dragged him back into the herd and they crashed across the creek. That uh, was that 150 metres down? Yeah. Slightly out of bow range. Slightly, just, just a fraction out of yeah. bow range. But Jace, Jace says he's the most disappointing moment of his life. That is actually, and I've, I've had some disappointing times. I've had some really shit times, but this is probably it. It's, it almost makes you want to cry. So we came in this morning and we were thinking, you know, maybe there's going to be the spiker in the orchard, maybe, maybe a couple of cows as well. Snuck in and just before light, just getting set up, ready to watch the crossing and sort of debating whether we're going to shoot a cow for a bit of meat. And, uh, the ball bugles just above us. Yeah, it would have been about 15 yards, 15 yeah. yards. 15, 20 yards. Not much, just out of sight, just above the rise. And uh, she was all go. Mm. And the dream walks away. But that's how it goes. It's, it's hunting. It's called it's hunting. All the clothing worn on this hunt was from Huntec. They do an awesome summer gear. It was 30 degrees a lot of the days and it was still comfortable. Check them out before summer.